and welcome to my channel. So today I've got an unboxing for you. Um, it's obviously a diamond painting. It's a little bit, it's a semi-mystery to me. I think I know what this is, but I am confused because I ordered something else at the same time from the same seller that definitely will not be the shape of, that could fit in this box. So I don't know if they split the order or something. So yeah, let's get it open. It's a little bit battered as is usual. Um, now let me just get it. Oh. I'm just getting it's a little bit it's ripped but oh, it's stuck hang on so it is a diamond painting as we uh, thought I just don't know oh okay so it is the diamond diamond painting I thought and it's an order from who can oh what's that random random things it's a little, <laughs> look, it's one of these little cat things. I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? Oh, uh, somebody know. It's a little cat thing. It's like a lucky charm. <sighs> so yeah, this is from Hookan and obviously they have split my order. So I'm just going to put that uh, to one side. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, I have never bought from Huacan before. It seems to split opinion. Uh, some people like Huacan, some people hate Huacan. So I thought I would go for this i wanted to try it out and i have actually bought a square drill because mostly the criticisms come from square drill diamond paintings from huacan look how many drills there are it's quite a big painting but let's look very quickly actually before i start the way i handle my unboxings is i do put little chapters down the bottom of the video so if you want to skip past the drills and see straight to the canvas then you can uh, but for if you're interested in that sort of thing let's see what we've got i will look at the kit though this does seem to be the same similar kit as when i bought from uh, azqsd who i think is a si let me just move that who i think is a sister sister site so we have our regular it's one of the sparkle pens we have a grippy that is super loose we have some oh we have two pieces of wax because it is quite a big painting I thought that was quite dark wax then, but uh, actually, no, it's still that see-through, super see-through wax. We have a placer, which I think is, it's not got a number on it, but I'm going to say it's a templacer, maybe. I don't use multi-placers, so it doesn't really matter. I have some pointy tweezers. These are the good ones, so they're the, the nice metal ones. They don't open up very far. So if you like to multi-place with tweezers, I know some people do, you'll probably have to try and bend that open. But um, for I single place with tweezers, my squares, so they're fine for me. And we have one of these uh, bigger boats. It doesn't have the spout on it, but I do quite like these bigger boats. So that's the kit. And I think what I'm going to do, because we do have this painting here, but I'm going to open up, I'm going to get it out of its wrapping just so the canvas can start to relax so let's get in get rid of that and it's on a foam roller but let's get this sticky tape up um i'm also always so paranoid and careful when i slice this because I obviously i don't want to slice my canvas end here have some sticky tape there okay so let's just I think that what I usually do when I'm unrolling double-sided adhesive is I curl this up because this is being quite tightly uh, rolled around the, the foam roller. So what I do is I curl it up here. So as I unroll this side, it starts to roll this side. So it's keeping the curl, but it's loosening it up. It's more gentle. So yeah, let's just gently do that. I described it before as like one of those pastries, like an elephant's ear, <laughs> because everything is about food with me. Sorry if you've heard that joke before. It's a truth though. So I just gently do that. But you see how much looser this um, part becomes because we're slowly unrolling it. There's the foam roller, get rid of that. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that to one side to relax and we're going to do the drills so yeah let's get into this wow what have i done <laughs> what have i done so we have many pinks Ooh, is uh core to this one it looks like i mean that look that's 45 so we've got at least 45 colors 
I think generally speaking, 45 colours is what they go for. Or another big bag of this. So that is 42. Wow, look at the static in that. Is it static or has it been vacuum packed? Let's see. Oh, it was just vacuum packed. Phew. So yeah, I've got a couple of big bags here. Oh, let's get that open. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I knew it was a big painting. And uh, yeah, I bought this in the recent AliExpress uh, haul. Uh, haul? Uh, sale. So it, I did get it for a reasonable price. I will leave details down below in the description for should you be interested in this painting when you actually get to see it. But we'll just look at this. Look at these drills. So we have here, I mean, they are acrylic drills, I'm pretty sure. So they're very good. They have lots of flat backs. Let me see. Because usually the easiest way you can tell acrylic is if they get the dimple. And I don't see any dimples on that one. I will find one with dimples somewhere, I'm sure. Wow, uh, these are good quality drills. I mean, assuming they're all like the, you know, the right size, then we don't have variations in size, but they certainly have plenty of, um... oh, we have a dimple. So yeah, definitely acrylic, and uh, but we definitely look well shaped. So as long as things aren't domed more or too flat, then that does look promising. Most of the criticisms for who can work for their square drill canvases. That's a really nice uh, baby pink. Uh, but this was a while ago and there was also reports that they might have sorted out their problems. I hope so. Because this is a big painting for it to all go wrong on. <laughs> but we're just looking... I'm not, I'm not obviously going in depth with what the drills are like. I'm just giving you a flavour. This is a really nice lilac though. You might be able to tell the kind of, uh, by now, the kind of paintings that I go for, or rather the colour palettes, because I do like uh, these bright or pastel colours. I, I like my, co my paintings to be colourful in general. There's always a rule. There's always a rule to be broken. Sometimes I'll go for something different, but... Yeah, uh, plenty of dimples on that one. The dimples don't matter, uh, but it is a way that you can tell acrylic drills as opposed to resin. Right, another, more purples. Just a handful of looks. <laughs> Sad little bag of uh, sort of mint green. Oh, there's another big bag. What's this? 154. So, uh, did I look for 310? That's 939. It doesn't look like we've got any 310 though. I know people, I don't actually care if there's a lot of 310 or not. To me, it's just a drill. A drill is a drill is a drill. Um, but I know some people don't like having 310. So we got these three big bags though. That is 3743. That is 154. And this is 3834. They're super sized bags. And then we've got these medium sized bags. And then we've got the little dinkies. So, yeah, big variety. Looks like 45 colours. Well, I suppose I could put a few in the tray for you, couldn't I? Let's pick a dark colour. We'll just do a few, just so you can see them in the tray. And I can see them in the tray then. We'll see how straight they are. Um, well, I'm not seeing... There's a tab there. But that's the only drill I can see with a tab. So that does look also quite promising. Obviously, these are just first impressions. I'm going to get rid of that tab one. When I can see it, yeah, I just lost it. <laughs> I was going to get rid of the tab drill, but uh, yeah, I, I dropped it. And uh, But yeah, the only way to really tell the quality of a drill is when you start laying them down on the canvas. So yeah, let me just put this away and we'll look at the canvas. Okay, so I've got the camera up further to try and fit this all in. So if I sound a bit different or a bit funny, it's because I'm standing up. I've had my eye on this picture for a very, very long time. So I'm just gonna slowly unroll this. And we'll look at the back of the canvas. 
Oh, look at this. This is bad. So this is, um, yeah, that's that's potential to be bad. We've got a little one there, but that's probably not much different. Uh, not going to be much of a problem, but that bigger one. We shall see what that looks like when we take the top cover off. Aside from that, yes. So, let's turn it over. Oh. And we will do this wrestling match. Now, I will show you the picture. And then you can see what I'll do. I'll also put a thumbnail on the screen now, but this is the picture that I selected. Uh, yeah, so it's like this big sort of Chinese pagoda thing. And what I've done is I have selected, so this is 105 centimeters by 50 centimeters. <laughs> it's huge. And uh, 48 colors. I did actually count them before I put, as I was packing away the drills. I'll, I'm gonna do the wrestling with the paper to get it to lie flat off camera, just so that, you know, just to get it out the way with, and then I'll peel it back again and we can actually look at the canvas. So be back in a moment. Right, the magic of video. So I have got you in closer again because I didn't, I can't fit the whole painting in 105 by 50. I can't fit that all in frame anyway, or at least not easily. And so I figured I might as well just get you in close because I showed you the picture of what it's going to look like anyway. And this will allow you to see the canvas better as well. So we have the legend here, a single legend for the entire painting. Regardless of whether you have a portrait or a landscape picture, they do always put your, um, what's the word? The symbols, that's the word, <laughs> the symbols this way up. So it doesn't make any difference if it's long or tall, the symbols will be this way up. So I'll I'll get to it in a minute, but that, pu that bump on the canvas on the back, well, there was two, they are puckers. So that's going to be interesting because I've never actually had to deal with a pucker before. But in the meantime, <laughs> let's have a look at the symbols because obviously we've got quite a lot of dark colours here. Uh, but I'm happy to say the printing all looks razor sharp. So we have our dark colours and, well, let's look at this one, for instance. So we have this, it's like a little, I don't know what it is, a little windmill or something. But it's a very clear, the, the white, usually the problems come with either black print on a dark background or white print, but the white is fuzzy. This white is not fuzzy, it's very clear. And uh, we don't have any black symbols, we know that. We did have some 939, I'm not sure where that is. Uh, 939 was the hearts. So if we see any hearts, we know what it is. But um, I don't think symbols are going to be a problem. So I'll just put it back here so you can see the edge of the picture because this is the sort of pagoda type thing. And we have three strips of uh, double-sided sticky. I still have to be careful not to bash the camera because it's right over the top. Uh, apologies if you're getting any glare from the window. But uh, yeah, so this is the end pagoda of that picture and it does you can see quite clearly what it is I wasn't sure what this size would be like because obviously it's a very big picture but it's also quite a, a soft fuzzy one it's like you know we've got this like misty cloud uh, atmosphere so oh there's the there's the 939 so we have all of these hearts down the bottom here uh, a bit next to the club sign which uh, is easy to see but uh, maybe if you're daydreaming, if you get into the zone, I could see easily, you could just miss that. But generally speaking, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about the symbol clarity. Oh no, I've stuck to the table. <laughs> oh, See, that's, that's the problems with wrestling with a big canvas. So let me just show you this, these puckers. In fact, there's two. So this was the, the middle one. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. So here's the first one. We have it here. So this is a pucker. This is where the canvas is wrinkled, not the uh, sticky tape. So I don't know if you can see that there. I think you can. Uh, so I have a little valley here. Uh, this one's quite a small one. So I, I think just I'll slit, slit that with a scalpel. And I don't think I'm gonna have any problem with that one because it is very small. It's a 
very small wrinkle so let's get let's get this cover down before I have any more table incidents do you know what let's go from this side because I'm such a klutz when it comes to things like this that I do have accidents all the time so let's pull this back oh we've got I, I didn't actually notice there's the smallest of puckers there as well so this um, yeah so this is the problem child and I don't know if you can see this one but it is it's, it's, it's a big pucker it's a big crease in the canvas Look, that's the back and I don't know if you can see this in this thing but it is actually a deep enough crease to create a shadow so when I cut this I can't just slit it I mean the only bright side is a lot of it is up here on the white where there isn't any drills so really the pucker is only about it's from here to here so that's one thing at least and it's quite small down to here so it's only going to be maybe these first four rows uh, when I cut this I don't think there's going to be enough sticky tape to cover the gap that's left because this is quite a big valley so I will just use I can either use a little bit of double-sided sticky tape to, to fill the gap or I can use a little bit of tacky glue if there are any symbols it's not gonna be a problem to fix but I you know obviously it's a problem that I shouldn't have to fix but it is a small problem so um, in the grand scheme of things it's not something that I'm gonna bother complaining about I just fix it I just fix it myself um, yeah so that's a bit of a shame but that is one of the hazards of double-sided sticky tape is sometimes you just it doesn't survive the transit very well but that that is not a transit problem that I think when you get those puckers that is when they're laying down the adhesive so when the, the adhesive was laid that happened so yeah that is my unboxing if you've ever bought from Huacan before let me know in the comments what did you think about it is Huacan a or a mm. on that note if you enjoyed this video give me a mm or a mm. either works and uh, yeah take care and see you again soon bye for now bye